Bill Farmer at Florida Supercom and at the Miami Beach Convention Center. Bill, have you done the Florida Supercom before, or is this your first one? This is my first one and the first time in Miami since I was a little teeny kid of about six years old. What's it like coming back? <laughs> do you remember yeah. anything? <laughs> uh, yeah, I do remember some. My uh, uh, family's from Tallahassee, my mom's family. And I, I had a cousin, I had two cousins that grew up in Miami Beach. One of them still lives here. I got with him after 20 some years, I, I hadn't seen him. We got to get together and have dinner the other night. It was a great homecoming. The people have been great. The weather a little hot and sticky, but uh, no, the con is just super, and Miami is just a super place. Bill, what's your cousin's name, That your first name? What is his first name that you got to see? Charles. So you got to see your cousin Charles. Cousin Charles. Where are you living now? What area are you I from? I live in Los Angeles in uh, North Hollywood, California, close to the Disney Studios, and uh, all the other little studios that I work at. What's it like for you to be here, have fans meet you? You're the voice of Goofy, the voice of Pluto, two iconic members of the Disney World family, Disneyland family. What's it like? What kind of reaction are you getting from fans? The fans are why we do this in the first place. Uh, without their support, we wouldn't be working. I'm just so gratified to know that so many people love these characters and that they meant so much to people during their growing up. And everyone seems to have a special story about these characters. That something with their dad and a goofy movie or a trip to Disneyland or whatever. And I get to hear those. Whereas in Hollywood, I just go in the studio with a microphone and I never get these stories. So it's nice to connect with the public. Casual dress when you go in the studio. What is your dress when you go in the studio to do the voiceover? Probably it's a casual like this. <laughs> it's great. I can wear whatever I want as long as it doesn't like make noise when I go like that. As long as nothing squishes or sloshes, right? Yeah, so you can it's have the just very casual. About how old were you when you realized this is something that you could do? I started doing impressions, just uh, television actors and cartoon characters when I was around 12. But I never thought it would be a career and I didn't even really pursue it till I was almost 30 years old and when I moved out to Hollywood. I was actually closer to 34, 35 years old when I got uh, the voice of Goofy. What is it like when the people can now put a face to the voice? It's so funny, a lot of them close their eyes. They want to hear the voice, not coming out of this body, but they imagine Goofy. And um, it, it becomes magical that way somehow. Do you have a favorite voice? Well, it'd have to be Goofy. It's the longest running one I've done. Uh, I've certainly done a lot of other ones as for Warner Brothers, Bugs, Daffy, Foghorn, Sylvester. But Goofy was my favorite as a kid, and he still is. Now, I know it's very loud. But can you give us uh, any any one of the voices saying welcome to Florida Super or hi everybody from Florida Supercon? Howdy everybody and welcome to the Supercon here in Miami. Thank you, Bill. My pleasure.